take a glass of water, put an in drop and wait. Now do the same with oil. Ink and water mix, but oil and water don't. We all know this. But why is that? What makes two liquids mix or remain apart? Mixing and the mixing are puzzling processes that take place in many different systems. In fact, research shows that they also take place inside cells. Biomolecules diffuse in the liquid interior of the cell, like ink in water. Sometimes they condense in droplets called biomolecular condensates, like oil in water. The incorrect assembly of condensates in cells might be related to diseases such as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis or Alzheimer's disease. So it is important to understand how this works. First, we need to see why things mix. Molecules in the ink constantly jiggle around and bump with the wiggly water molecules. This makes them move randomly and disperse throughout the glass. At large scales, we see the ink mixing with water as the whole system loses structure and order. The loss of order can be quantified by the concept of entropy. Entropy always increases in any closed system if left alone. So why don't oil mix as well? There is a key factor that can counteract entropy. Molecular interactions. Molecules interact with one another in many different ways. In some cases, like oil and water, molecules attract each other. As molecules come closer to one another, the energy due to interaction, or interaction energy, decreases. If the interaction is strong enough, they condense and form droplets. This phenomenon is known as phase separation and it's one of the mechanisms by which condensates form inside cells. So the interaction energy promotes the mixing into different uniform regions. We call these regions phases. In the example, there is an oil-rich phase and an oil-poor phase. In other words, there is a sharp change in oil molecule concentration across the surface of the droplet, which defines the location of the interface. So when will two liquids phase separate? Well, it depends on the balance of entropy and interaction energy. This balance depends also on temperature, molecule concentration and pH. In cells, the assembly and disassembly of condensates might be driven by changes in these factors. We use a graph called phase diagram to predict whether there will be phase separation under certain conditions. Watch other science sketches to learn more.